Hi, we're John and Steph. These are our sons, Eliki and Sevanaya. We lived and still run a small business in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Our family has a dream, so we sold our stuff and we packed our bags. We moved to a village in Fiji to start a new business venture. We are Waka Family. So we were just down at the river. We went to cool the kids off. And then uh, they're seeming kind of tired, so thought we get them cooled off. And then we just put them to bed. And it seems like it worked. So now we got work to do. Trying to get settled, get all our stuff unpacked. Wish us luck. So my auntie made some shorts for the boys. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yes. Nice, they're so thin. Be perfect for this weather. I think Seb has already got some of his on here. Hey, buddy. What? Hey. You like uni shorts? You getting some water? You know, banana? Oh. Drink up. Looking good. So it's like two in the afternoon right now. This is the day after we got here. And yeah, me and Steph are just crashing super hard. Sometimes, actually it's not crashing super hard, it's like a slow but steady crash. And so, <clears throat> we uh, showered the kids, put them back to bed for a second time. And uh, yeah, they were up at 3 a.m. Uh, this morning because that makes sense because that aligns with the time in Canada that they were usually getting up. So yeah, we didn't get to sleep a whole lot, but we're gonna lay down now. We're gonna take a break from all this packing craziness. I got half the bed in here. Steph's gonna lay down with Aliki and Seva, and we're just gonna try to get the energy levels back up. So we'll check in with you guys later in the afternoon. Had a very sweaty nap. It's about 35 degrees in the house. Um, it's only about 70% humidity, but yeah, it's nice to get some rest. And then woke up, all the kids came home from school, and this is them right now, playing with the boys, having some fun. So yeah, everything's definitely going to be a little easier when the boys, all those boys are home. Um, just to entertain the kids. We switched to uh, like phone carrier companies. Usually when I come, there's really the two main ones in Fiji. And yeah, I tried because the service has been really bad, which I thought it was really bad with the first one. I tried the second one um, and even worse, I don't get any, I get re cell phone reception, but no data, no 3G, no LTE. Seems like kind of like a first world problem, but that's our internet out here is our cell service. And so we either hotspot to our computer um, or we have a little router that actually connects to the cell signal, but um, when we don't actually have any signal or no data signal, it's gonna be a problem. So I think in the next couple days, I gotta go into town and get that figured out. So if you guys haven't heard anything from us in the first couple days on social media, uh, that we're here is because the connection is really bad so we're working on it and we'll be in touch very soon so appreciate your patience now we're gonna go up into the hill up there and check a few traps for wild pigs that my uncle has set yes fingers crossed food for sunday Fresh work.
found the mother hole. Look at this. It's where they all come to bath and roll around. Look at look at how tall that is. The mud goes up the tree. You see how far the mud goes up the tree there? That means there's pigs that are probably almost just as high over the knee. That's a big pig. Huge pig. Yeah. Big tracks, eh? Crazy. So you actually need to find an open space where this thing can yeah. rebound, mm. right? Yeah. Right. So you have to have yeah, yeah space where it can spring back. So you bury the stick one end. So stuck another end. Mm -hmm. One end of the rope you put on. Here with the knot, it's the slip knot or whatever. That'll tighten as the pressure's put on it. it goes right through the braid, and the rope. Then comes out. Comes down. That that little stick. Where the pressure's on there. That whole that little stick is holding this whole operation. Big steps on that. So the pig will step on these long sticks right here. As you can see the trail kind of goes this way. And then there's an open noose. And then the the pig, uh, pig comes here. There you go. <laughs> Finish. <laughs>